there's one more very cool property of limits which is that if you take the limit of some function raised to a power you could take the limit of the function and then raise the limit to the power very cool indeed for example here we have the limit as x approaches 3 of the square root of x squared plus 6 x minus 27 all over x minus 3 well this square root is pretty nasty and we could just get rid of it right off the bat uh, and we don't even have to make it part of the limit because really a square root is the power of one half so what we could do is we could rewrite this entire limit as the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 6x minus 27 over x minus 3 all raised to the one half power which means the square root in that way we can now analyze this limit the way that we would in our three rules now of course plugging in three or doing all of our rules to begin with really isn't so bad but just bear in mind that you could just save the square root or whatever power you have until later so let's analyze this step one plug it in if you plug in three here we have 3 squared is 9 plus 6 times 3. 9 plus 18 is 27 minus 27. That's 0 over 0. That's not going to work. Well, let's try step 2. Algebra gymnastics. So let's factor our top. Here we have the limit as x approaches 3 of two numbers that multiply to negative 27 and add to 6. How about we have x plus 9 and x minus 3. Oh look, x minus 3. That's kind of nice because that will cancel out. And this is all to the 1 half power. So we could cancel out the x minus 3, cancel out x minus 3. That means that we have a whole at x equals 3. And therefore we can now take the limit by plugging 3 into our new function. So let's rewrite this now as quantity the limit as x approaches 3 of x plus 9 all raised to the 1 half power well now we can just plug in 3 3 plus 9 is 12 so this is just the square root of 12 since 1 half is the square root and of course we can reduce this by taking out a 4 this is 2 root 3 so we can use this last property of limits to simplify all of the stuff that we have learned up until now. Namely, that we can raise the entire limit itself to the one-half power and then use our three steps to analyze the limit and then bring that power in at the very end. Simplifies matters a lot.